Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. We are ready to go. Both teams come into this game with a record of a 5-0 in the conference. Rochester 6-1 overall. The Whitco Wildcats 5-2. Hard to believe that the end of the regular season is here. I know. The weather feels like the end of the season, though. It's cooled <laughs> off considerably, but it's dry tonight. Something we haven't seen very many of. It's a dry Friday night. Yeah, you're exactly right. So the Whitco Wildcats will kick. Rochester will go right to left. They're in their home blacks. Black pants, black jerseys, gold numbers, black helmets. Whitco Wildcats, red pants, white shirts, blue numbers, blue helmets. Low end over end kick, takes a hop, picked up at the 22. Brett Abbott right at the middle, hit at the 30, breaks the tackle, gets to the 35, falls ahead across the 35 to about the 36. So Rochester takes the, uh, the ball first from right there. Here going to our right. Bounce off Brett Abbott, break open the opening kickoff. Zebras have been close on the on kick returns and punt returns all season long. I keep thinking every game we're going to see one. Give him the 37, ball in the far hash. Rochester going to our right. The Zebras will break the huddle. They'll send Bennett wide to the near side, which is the Rochester sideline, wide side of the field. Heckathorn is the flanker to the left. Shane tight right. Eye backs for hunting. John under center, sends Heckathorn in motion to the near side, takes a snap. Hands off to Hattashell at the middle. Hattashell lowers his head. Might have pushed the pile to the 39. Not a lot there. Give him two. It'll be second and eight. Well, like we said in the pregame, Whitco is going to take away, try to take away Heckathorn as we're going to try to take away Hughes. Hattashell. Hattashell. Right. But it's going to be Heckathorn. It could be Heckathorn, too. And yeah. back in. They're going to try to take away everyone. <laughs> so second down and eight after a two-yard pickup by Jacob Hattashell. Ball down the middle of the field. Bennett split left. Flanker to the left side again is Heckathorn. Flanker to the right is Hattashell. Hunting under center. Hattashell goes in motion to the far side. On the jet sweep, Heckathorn's hit in the backfield. Bounces off a tackler. Trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now does. Turns it upfield to the 45. Round of bounds about the 46. Maybe the 47. And that'll be close to Zebra first down. Great effort by Heckathorn there. He was hitting the backfield. Thought it was stopped for a one, two yard loss. And then broke out of that tackle and got a couple yards on it. And uh, there was a defender on the near sideline down to give Heckathorn seven yards, or make that eight yards. He picks up enough for a zebra first down. It'll be first and 10 at the Rochester 47-yard line. And we're going to have a timeout, an injury timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Welcome back to Rochester High School. Well, as we stepped away for an injury timeout, the young man who we believe to be Gavin Powell, uh, a starting uh, two-way starter, is still down, still laying flat on his back, still down. They haven't moved him, nor have I seen his his feet move. And here comes the ambulance, it sounds like. The ambulance is, is not here yet. But we hear it. Uh, both Whitco uh, trainers and Christina Hughes for the Rochester Zebras, uh, both down there, uh, taking a look at the young man. I don't know what happened. I think that he's the one that kind of spun Heckathorn out of bounds, but I did not see what happened during the, the play. So... I didn't either. Yeah, and now a doctor coming out of the stands to take a look at him, and the young man's still down. I, I haven't seen him move at all. Uh, so, John, let, let's step away from here for a little longer. Uh, I'm guessing they'll probably, well, I'm not going to guess. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you the full details here coming up. Again, we're early into this game, not even a minute gone yet. No score here. Rochester, when we come back, we'll have it first and 10 at their own 47 going to our right. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. Oh. We're going to go right back to action before oh, they get off the, off the facility. So Rochester, first and 10 for their own 47. Eye backfield for hunting. Takes the snap, hounds off to Hattashell. Jacob Hattashell, second effort, gets into Whitco territory, giving the 49. And it'll be a pickup of about uh, three yards, four yards on the play. It'll be second down and six for the Zebras at the Whitco 49. So we played about 51 seconds of this football game and then had about a 10 to 15 minute break. And now we're back to action with a 10.45 to play. In the first quarter, Rochester looking at second down and six from the Whitco 49 yard line. Again, the Zebras going to our right. Hattashell takes a carry again. Lowers his head, second effort, gets him up to the 46. Give him three, it'll be third down and three for the Zebras with 10 and a half to play in the first quarter. No score here at Barnhart Field. Well, you're talking about somebody getting keyed on tonight. Jacob Hattashell is that yeah. guy and he's getting hit immediately. Well, we have yet to see West Beck touch the football. Yeah, this might be the opportunity. This is, yeah, third, <laughs> third and three is probably his best. Had a shell, make the Heckathorn wide to the left side. Two tight ends for the Zebras on third down and three from the Wildcats, 46. Hunting, fakes to 
gives to Beck. Beck lunges forward, gets two. It'll be fourth and one. They need to get to the Whitco 42-yard line for a first down. And right now they're at about a 43. So it'll be fourth down and one. Actually about a 43 and a half. They need to get to the 42. It'll be fourth down and a little more than a yard for the Rochester Zebras. The offense will stay on the field and looks like they will go for it as the play comes in from the sideline. Michael Kissel relays it to John Hunting. The Zebras break the huddle to come to the line of scrimmage. Ball in the near hash. Rochester going to our right. Two tight ends for the Zebras. Full house backfield. Hunting under center, fourth and one. Gives to Hattershaw going left. Jacob Hattershaw has a first down. Backs his way out to the 36. First and 10 Zebras. Another nice job up front by the Zebra offensive line, clearing a hole for Jacob Hattershaw. Yeah, he attacked that left side, and that left side is Lane Coffee and Tanner Music. Great job by those two making a hole. And he was hit in the backfield and shook yeah, a tackler. And, right and, in the line of scrimmage, yeah. managed to uh, spin away from them. And, and uh, bounce on up to the 36. First and 10 for the Z's. They'll go back to that same set, two tight ends, straight T backfield, backfield from the 36 of the Whitco Wildcats. Hunting, hands off to Hattishell. Jacob Hattishell pushes his way across the 35, maybe to the 33, not a lot there. It'll be second down and seven with nine minutes to play in the first quarter. No score here at Barnhart Field. Not a lot there, but he picked up three. Brad Thomas, Travis Watchering, I'm David Musselman. What? I'm just saying, that's <laughs> typical of the way Jacob Howdeshaw runs. I don't what, know if that what was, looks I, like everything. Is I don't, if, I don't think that was exactly what you were saying at all. <laughs> <laughs> Second and seven, back to passes, hunting, looks left, throws left, he's got a receiver down the left sideline. It is complete to Bennett. Bennett inside the 10, down around the six yard line, first and goal for the Z's. Well, Bennett caught one without a touchdown, so the next one has to be a touchdown, That doesn't right? happen very often. No, exactly. <laughs> give him 30 yard, uh, Give him 27 yards on the pitch and catch. Takes him down to the six-yard line. And it'll be first and goal for the Z's at the Whitco. Six going to our right with eight and a half to play in the first quarter. It's hard not, though, to throw to Gaff Bennett. That, Standing 6'3", 180 pounds. And that was almost a touchdown had Bennett not got tripped yeah. when he caught it. Yeah. Bennett wired to the right side, split backs for hunting. Pitch goes to Beck. Wes Beck lowers his head at the five, and that's all he's going to get. Give him a yard. It'll be second to go from the five-yard line. He takes the ball down to about the five-yard line. Great job by Whitco. But you know what, fellas? We've seen a lot this year where the other team kind of blows up our line of scrimmage early on in the game, and then, you know, we kind of win the, uh, the battle late in the ball games. Yeah, I don't know if it takes Zebras a couple quarters to warm up or... Actually, I have nothing. <laughs> I think it's a plethora of weapons. Rochester goes back at the straight tee. Look, two tight ends from the five-yard line on second down and goal. And now we're going to have a false start on Kissler. That's going to back him up, I believe. Oh, yep. Well, and that'll be second and goal from the 10. Of course we're going to have a false yeah, start. Yeah, Every time we get inside the 10-yard line. It's the first drive. We have to have a yeah. flag. So it'll be a five-yard penalty walked off against the Zebras. It'll be second and goal from the 10-yard line. And it'll be interesting to see if we go back to that uh, two tight end set, straight tee backfield, or maybe that... Uh, Open it up, kind of look, and look for a slant over the middle from Heckathorn or uh, by Bennett. Clock rolls, 7.45 to play in the first quarter. Rochester second a goal from the 10-yard line. And they'll come back to that two tight end. Bennett to the left, Kissler to the right. Straight tee backfield for the Zebras. Hunting, back to pass. Looking left, throwing left. Got a wide open in, in the end zone. Is complete to Bennett. Gavin Bennett. Catches a 10-yard touchdown pass from Hunting, and the Zebras go up first, six to nothing. Bennett got wide open behind <laughs> the defense, and uh, Hunting, not able to hit him while standing in the pocket, was able to roll out to his left and find just enough freedom to get that ball in the air. To, and Bennett did a good job. Of now let's see that squared, hands. squared toe shoe in action. <laughs> Wilson Lee on to attempt the extra point. Bennett the holder. Um, I'm sorry. Here we go, snap is high snap, gets it down, kick is away, and that thing is kicked into Akron. Fantastic, it is good, 7-0 Rochester. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Back at Rochester High School, seven and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. The Zebras tram strike first. Yep, 10 plays, 63 yards, capped off by a hunting to Bennett, 10-yard ten touchdown pass. The PIT by Wilson Lee was good. Zebras lead 7-0 with 7.30 remaining in the first quarter. Bum ball and step back deep, receive the kick. It's an end over end kick. Snep's going to take it to the 19. Snep at the 25 to 30. Goes to the right side, is grabbed by the shoulder 
pads and driven down at about the 27, 28 yard line. So that's where the Wildcats, and here comes Tanner Hughes onto the field for the Whitco Wildcats. The zebra starting defense real quick is uh, West Beck at the end along with Jordan Schaefer. Your nose tackle is Otto Sherbondi. Your five linebackers, Wilson Lee, Connor McLaughlin, Jacob Hattishell, Tanner Music, and Jay Heckathorn. Your corners are Gavin Bennett and John Hunting, and your lone safety is Brett Abbott. First and 10 for the Wildcats with their own 28 yard line. Tanner Hughes, the fullback. Two wingbacks to the Wildcats. And on the keeper, it's pitched out to the outside. It's fumbled, picked up by Killian. And Killian wisely appro uh, approaches the, uh, for, uh, the sticks and lunges ahead for a gain of a couple, giving two yards. It's almost a forward pass. It, it looked like he did like a pass, too. He tossed it out there almost yeah. overhand, and if it had gone forward... So the, they get it out to the 35-yard line. So it's a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight from the Whitco 35-yard line. Wide to the near side is Kozad. Elder on the football and second down and eight from his own 35. Here's a snap on the option. Hughes right up the middle. Terry Hughes around the right side. Terry Hughes. Finally caught from behind, but not until he gets well into Rochester territory. Inside the 40, down to around the 36, 37 yard line. A huge gain for Tanner Hughes. Brought down by Otto Sherbondi right there, and he's our nose tackle. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there on the zebra defense, but. He slipped Brett Abbott's tackle deep into the secondary. And if it wasn't for Sherbondi, he's going to the house. Absolutely. 30 yard gain. First and 10 for the Wildcats at the, at the Rochester 36 yard line. Six and a half to play in the first quarter. Elder sets the club, takes a snap, gives to uh, Hughes again. Hughes, Hughes is bottled up at about the 34. Giving two, it'll be second down and eight. I need their roster, please. Yes, sir. I need to make a change. The man, the young man re, uh, replacing uh, Gavin Powell, who just left for the hospital, is Garrett Smiley. And Smiley is a 185-pound junior for the Whitco Wildcats. He lines up. The uh, flanker to the right side, Killian the flanker to the left side. The lone back is Hughes. Elder under center. Hughes gets a carry going right. Hughes stacked up at the uh, line of scrimmage, pushes uh, his way ahead. Maybe gets out to the 30, maybe the 31. We'll wait and see where they're going to mark that. It's going to be at the 31-yard line. Picks up three. It'll be uh, third down and five for the Whitco Wildcats at the Rochester 31-yard line. Again, Whitco going to our left. The ball spot on the far hash, which is the Whitco sideline. Tell you why you run the ball like this every time you have it. There's no reason to ever throw it. Yeah, you're right. And that's what Coach Moore said in the pregame interview. Two yards, two yards, 30. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Third down and five for the Wildcats. Goes out wide to the near side. Elder sets the line of scrimmage. Hughes behind him on third and five. Killian goes in motion to the right side. He gets a pitch going right. Killian. Turns it upfield, he's got a first down. Carries a couple of zebra tacklers inside the 30, inside the 25, near the 20 yard line. First and 10, Whitco. Runs around the right side. We'll have a Whitco Give him the 21. Gavin 10 yard gain by Killian, and that's one of those runs where you're looking at him running around the corner and you're trying to pick out the guy blocking in front of him, and the next time you try to pick out where the ball carrier's at, he's already 10 yards downfield. Yeah. First and 10 for the Wildcats at the Zebra 21-yard line. Rochester up 7-0 with 4.49 to play in the first quarter. Killian is the wing back to the left side. Uh, scratch that. Smiley wing back to the right side. Hughes, the lone back. Elder on the option. Keeps it around the near side. Elder stiffs arms, but cannot run away from Hecathorn. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Abbott right there to take him down for the, initial, for the, uh, for the stopper. So it'll be second down at about 11 after a one-yard loss. Bumball is a wing back in the game that time for Whitco. Kozad brings a play in from the line from the sideline for the Wildcats. It'll be second down and 11 at the Rochester 22-yard line with four minutes to play in the first quarter. Kozad wide to the right side, golf wide to the near side. Bumball the wing back to the left, Killian the wing back to the right. On the pass over the middle, incomplete. And that a pass intended for Smiley, as we knew kind of that was coming. We've seen that pass a couple of times this year where the wing back kind of steps out about two yards uh, in the uh, backfield of the uh, secondary or the uh, defense. And that time, uh, Elder just led him a bit much. It'll be third and 11. 
The real quick slant pattern pass. Had he made the connection. A quick TRC update. Valley leads North Miami early, 8-6 in the first quarter. Winnemac leads Kassner early, 14-0 in the first quarter. Huh? 20 to nothing in the first quarter. Thanks, Val. <laughs> Third and 11. Elder under center. Takes a snap. Back to pass. Rolls to the right. Here comes the pressure. He's hit. Gets away. Throws it up for grabs. And complete fourth and 11. Good job by Connor McLaughlin. He was on him. As soon as they hiked the ball, he chased him to the backfield. Made him get rid of it early. Almost had him for the sack. Fourth and 11. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Yeah. If you're a Rochester fan, you wanted right. to see Rochester's defense force Whitco to pass. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what Coach Moore said in the pregame. He's just hoping they can run the ball strong. Or, hey, they don't have to pass very often. Fourth and 11 for the uh, Whitco Wildcats at the Zebra 22-yard line. The Wildcats going to our left. Kozad brings a play in from the sideline. 3.45 to play. What do you do on fourth and 11 with a team that doesn't like to pass the ball? <laughs> blitz, uh, blitz, 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 blitz. <laughs> so the Wildcats on the ball with 10 on the play clock. Elder sets a line of scrimmage with seven. Hughes behind him. With five, takes the, the snap, throws it over the left side. It is incomplete, and it will be pass, pass interference, interference as well on John Hunting. Rochester bails out the other team again on a pass interference penalty. And that's uh, exactly the, the second best scenario that Whitco could have hoped for. Here's the bad thing about that. That receiver wasn't catching that ball either. It was no, too it tall. Was, well, too tall and 100 mile an hour. Yeah. He really zipped that ball downfield. So the penalty will be marked off. We'll take it inside the 15-yard line. And it'll be... The result of the play is not even enough for a first down, but is it automatic? Apparently. The first and 10 for the Whitco Wildcats at the Zebra 11-yard line with 3.45 to play in the first quarter. Again, Rochester up 7-0. Whitco on the football. Elder sets a line of scrimmage. Bum ball is the wing back to the left. Smiley wing back to the right. Hughes in the backfield as well. Hughes gets the carry. He is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Second ever, maybe to the nine. It'll be second and uh, eight from the nine-yard line for the Wildcats. Clock rolls three and a half to play in the first quarter. Brad Thomas, Travis Watchering. I'm David Musselman. Rochester scored on a 10-yard pass play from Hunting to Bennett. And that came after a 30-yard pass play yeah. from Hunting to Bennett. And more importantly, more impressively, the extra point kick by Wilson Lee. Booted. Yeah, he hit it well. I think that ball's still in town. <laughs> Second and eight for the Wildcats at the Rochester nine. Elder sets the line. Smiley comes in motion to the near side. Here's the snap. He gets the pitch going to the left. Smiley cuts it upfield and has ran out of bounds at about the six. Give him three. It'll be second down and about make that third down and about four for the Wildcats at the Rochester six-yard line. Brought down by 58 Jordan Schaefer. Who is playing one way tonight. Yes, just defensively, obviously. Third down. Wow. That's about like third and six. Yeah. Third and five now for the Whitco Wildcats. Under three minutes to play in the first quarter. Rochester up seven to nothing. The Wildcats break the huddle. They'll have a 15 on the play clock. Two receivers, one to the right, one to the left. Elder under center with 10. Sets the line with 9. But, uh, gives the keeper going right side. He is stacked up by Schaefer. And Schaefer drives him back after a one-yard gain. It'll be fourth down and four at the Zebra five-yard line. Hector trying like crazy to strip that football while Schaefer's dragging him to the ground. I thought... I heard fumble come from the zebra sideline. <laughs> so I don't know if it was a quarterback sneak or he dropped the ball and just had to pick it no, up. No, I go. think that the, it was obviously he put it in the belly of Hughes, yeah. pulled it out of the belly, okay. and followed tried, Hughes. Tried to follow okay. Yeah. So it'll be fourth and four for the uh, Whitco Wildcats at the zebra five yard line. 2:25 to play in the first quarter. Whitco just now gets the play in from the sideline, and the Wildcats break the huddle with 10. Goes out wide to the right side, golf wide to the left side, short side of the field. Elder sets a club with five. Killian in motion to the right side. Hughes fakes a fake the handoff to Hughes. Elder runs around the right side of the zebra stop him. A great job by Elder, who did not give it to Hughes and keeps it on the quarterback option, but could not get to the sticks. And Rochester will take over on downs at the five-yard line. Elder gets nothing, maybe the four. But regardless, Zebras hold on downs after a penalty. Kept his drive alive, and now they'll start inside uh, the 10 
Where's that ball going to be marked? At the five? I think right on the five. Right at five. Just on the in, five, just you're right. Just inside the five, yeah. So great job by the Rochester defense. They didn't bite on the first option, and they were able to track Elder down and not allow him to get the corner. Two minutes to play. First quarter. Rochester at, at, has it first and ten at their five-yard line. Hunting. Under center. Ten on the play clock. Here's the snap. Gives to Beck. West Beck right at the middle. West Beck carries some tacklers with him across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Give him 11 and a zebra first down. Good run by West Beck. Again, just looked like one broken tackle away from getting out of there. First and 10 for the Zs at the 16-yard line. Ah, give him the 17, Bradley. Give him 12 on that. Had a fantastic game last week at Valley. He did, 140-some yards. First and 10 for the Zebras, their own 17. Here's the snap. Beck again, met in the backfield, bounces off a tackler, but uh, he's going to lose a yard or two. He's going to lose one. It'll be second down and 11, as there was more white jerseys in the backfield <laughs> that time and one like to see. Smiley on the tackle. No game play. Second down. West Beck had 146 yards and one touchdown last week against Valley. Yeah, had a great, had a great uh, game last week, as did Hattishell. Yeah, he did. Second and 11 for the Zebras at their 16-yard line. Split backs for hunting, two wideouts. John back to pass, looks to the near side, looks, 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 throws to the far sideline, incomplete. And that pass intended for Shane. He had him, but just let him a bit too much as now it's third down and 11. Pass intended for Shane. 109 to play in the third in the uh, first quarter. Rochester up seven to nothing. They have it third down and 11 from their 16-yard line, going to our right. Ball basically in the middle of the field. The zebras will break the line of score, break the huddle. They send Bennett wide to the near side. Hecathorn split left, tied into the left is Bennett. Now nah, I beg your pardon. Is he going to Kissler? Split backs for Hunting on third and 11. John back to pass, rolls to the left, has some pressure, steps up, and he's going to be sacked. He's going to be sacked back to the 10-yard line, and he'll lose six yards, and that'll bring up fourth down and 17, and on comes West back in the punting unit. Boy, make sure you grab a block here. This could be ugly. Yeah. Back deep for the Wildcats is Zach Snepp, a senior for Whitco. He is uh, back at the Rochester 45, and Wes will be punting this from his goal line. Fourth down and 17 with 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. Beck, good snap, no pressure, gets it away, nice kick, right to Snap at the 45 and he muffs it! Snap muffs it and he falls on it at his own 49! Boy, he had room to run too. If he catches that cleanly, he's got at least 10 yards before the Zebras touches him. Now well, Schaefer the first one down the field. And I don't think he would have uh, been able to corral. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was just sprinting down as fast as he could, but Snap, he had just put one little move on him, and I'm assuming Snap's a little bit faster than our Yeah, right. I'm guessing you're right. <laughs> First and 10 for the Wildcats at midfield. Ball in the far hash. 18 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 7 to nothing. Elder under center. Killian goes in motion to the right. Here's the play on the option. Hughes has it up the middle. Hughes is stacked up at the Rochester 46-yard line, giving four yards, and that'll do it for the first quarter. When we come back to start the second quarter, Whitco will have it second down and a six at the Rochester 46. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Cruise One, Tatter and Associates of Rochester invite you to join them on a five-night Royal Caribbean cruise to Grand Cayman Island and Cozumel, Mexico. Travel by luxury motor coach from Rochester to Tampa, where you will board the brilliance of the seas for your five-night Royal Caribbean cruise. Your package includes all travel arrangements, travel insurance, prepaid gratuities, and more. Contact Debbie Tatter at Cruise One to reserve your seat on this perfect winter getaway. Here we go to the second quarter of Barnhart Field. The Rochester Zebras leading 7-0. And as we start the second quarter, the Wildcats looking at second down and six from the Rochester 46-yard line. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. Uh, both teams here tonight perfect in the conference. And one team looking to run away and uh, win this conference outright with one game to go next week. Rochester will be at North Miami next week. Whitco will be at Tippecanoe Valley. That'll be interesting. The winner tonight will have no less than a share. That's right. 
So it's second down and six for the Wildcats. As Elder brings the club to the line of scrimmage, he's horsing with his helmet, finally has the mouthpiece out the corner of his helmet, now ready to roll. Down to 10 of the play clock. Elder takes a snap, turn around, gives to Hughes. Hughes stacked up behind the line of scrimmage, second ever, gets him across the 45 to the 44, give him two. It'll be third down and four. Here in the second quarter with Rochester leading 7 to nothing. Of course, that score coming on a 10-yard touchdown pass from John Hunting to Gavin Bennett in the back of the end zone. The last team to win the conference outright, it was Whitco in 2010. The team before that to win it outright was Rochester 2008. So other than that, it's been shared 2009 yeah. and 2011 on. You know, last year it could have been shared three times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Third and a four for the Wildcats at the Zebra 44-yard line. Elder takes a snap. On the option, goes left. Option, and it, Elder is hit by Heckathorn. Second ever, maybe a yard. It'll be fourth and three. Fourth and three at the 43. Nice job uh, by Heckathorn not to get fooled on the fake to uh, Hughes up the middle. Kept his position and was able to bring Elder down. Well, Whitco bringing in some changes. Lots of changes. Maybe the punting team. Elder goes out, so that makes me feel comfortable enough yeah. to say it is the punting team. Yep. Yep. And Blake sat back deep to, to kick. He'll kick from the from his own 45-yard line. Heckathorn slides inside his 15. Snap goes to the punter. Sap, nice spiral kick to the uh, coffin corner, and it's going to bounce out of bounds at about the five, uh, maybe the six or seven. Good punt by Sap. And Rochester again starts deep in their own territory. 10-25 to play in the first half. Rochester up 7-0. And they did a great yeah. job twice on defense, yes. both series. Now they've got to make hay offensively. Their, their offense needs to stay on the field a little longer than three plays. Yeah, this good call. Series. Coming up at halftime, the week that was will be quick. Not a lot this week. Coming down to the end of a lot yeah, of seasons. Yeah, you're right. Draw for the uh, high school football sectional on Sunday night between 8 and 10. You can hear that on WROI. Yeah, 8 p.m. <laughs> I have to have a nap to listen to that. <laughs> First and 10 from the eye. Hattershell gets the carry. He's spun down right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing. He's got 19 yards of rushing compared to 43. So Hughes is lengthening the... As, uh, Rushing well, lead in the conference. He had 30 of those in one carry. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, it does. Clock rolls here at uh, Rochester High School. 10 to play in the first half. Zebras up 7 to nothing. Second down and 10 for the Zebras. Bennett wide to the near side. Heckethorn split right. High backs for hunting. Quick snap. Back to pass. Looks to the near side. In the flat is complete to Bennett. Bennett shakes the tackle. Keeps the feet at the 15. At the 20. Gets a, shakes the tackle at the 25. Falls ahead of the Whitco. Uh, make that to the Rochester 31-yard line. First and 10 for the Z's. Yeah, touchdown ran all over it if he can keep his balance. He tripped up by one Whitco Wildcat, but he escaped it. And he was trying to keep his balance with his left hand the entire time by trying to run away as well. Nice job by Gavin Bennett. He was hit as soon as he caught that football, and he turned what was a six-yard gain into a 26-yard yeah. gain. Now it's first and 10 for the Z's at their own 32-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Check it wide to the near side. Blend split right. Back to pass again is Hunting. Has been it down the far sideline. He's sprinting to it, and it overthrows him. Hunting's pass intended for Had a step on the defender, did Bennett, and a Hunting just overthrows him just a bit. It'll be second and ten. Need about three or four steps on the defender to catch that ball. So, so Bennett has three catches already tonight for 67 yards and a touchdown. Yep. That's the one thing offensively that's worked so far. Second down and ten for the Z's at their own 32. Bennett wide to the near side, short side of the field. Heckethorn split right. Eye backs for Hunting. John takes a snap, gives to Beck right up the middle. Wes Beck cut down shy of the 35, giving the 34 a pickup of two. It'll be third and eight. 9.20 to play in the first half. Rochester up seven to nothing. We haven't seen Heckathorn with the football much yet. We have not, you're right. Either. Maybe once or twice, not a lot. I got him for one carry. That, that one that where, was a big eight, eight yeah, yards. The one where he got hurt. Yeah, yeah. Second play of the game, yeah. you're right. Third and eight for the Zebras. Out of the shotgun now is Hunting. John takes a snap back to pass. Looks left, throws left, looking for Bennett. He rises up. He's got it. Bennett down the far sideline. Ran out of bounds. 
at midfield, maybe at the uh, Whitco 49. We'll wait and see where they mark that. First down for the Zebra. And it is going to be at the Whitco 49, first and 10 for the Zs. Another 15-yard catch for Bennett. He is keeping Gavin Bennett working this first half. Yeah, already. well, something's got to work. Five catches, four catches for him already. Four catches already for 82 yards and a score. Passing game going to loosen up the running game, i got a feeling. Absolutely. First and 10 for the Zs, now the Whitco 49. High backs for hunting, two tight ends. John under center takes the snap, gives to Hattishell, going left. Jacob Hattishell takes a tackle at the 45. Hattishell at the 40. And is cut down shy of the Whitco 35 yard line, giving the 36. First and 10 zeros on a 13 yard run. So back to back nice passes. And hey, Hattishell has the ball yep. for a 20 yard gain. Give him the 35. First and 10 for the Z's at the 35. That time Jake Hattishell got himself out on the corner and he just sprinted towards the sideline. And it was uh, 13 yards before a Whitco player was able to even get close to him. Well, Whitco tried to grab him with the line of scrimmage. He shook that ankle tackle. And 13, 14 yards later, he picked up a first down. A first and 10 for Rochester. Eye backs again at the Whitco 35. Snap, had a shell, right side. Had a shell, lunges ahead. Maybe to the 33, not a lot there. Second and eight. Clock rolls, 8.25 to play the first half. Rochester up seven to nothing. And you're trying to get had a shell and Beck and Heck of thrown down. It usually takes more than ankle tackle. It usually takes one guy to hold it and one guy to to grab him down. Those are the big, three big guys who run hard at all times. Shane comes out of the game banged up a little bit as Coach Zayner and Coach Weaver attended to him on the sideline. Second and eight for Rochester. Here's a snap. Hattershell again going left. Jacob Hattershell shifts the tackler down the near side. He cuts, tried to cut back inside and driven hard out of bounds inside the 21st and 10 for the Zebras. Great job, Gavin Bennett on that left side, driving his defender deep downfield and then blocking so that Hauschel can pick up those last few yards. Give him the 16. It'll be first and 10 for the Z's of the Whitco 16-yard line. 7.45 to play in the first half. Rochester up 7 to nothing. 17-yard pickup that time for Hauschel. Ball in the near hash. Zebras will break the huddle. Bennett will go tight left. Shane is tight right. Hecathorn wide to the right side. Eye backs for hunting. From the Whitco 16, West Beck right up the middle, runs into a Whitco Man, wall, giving the 15 and one yard. It'll be second down. Ugh, maybe, maybe nothing. <laughs> there wasn't a lot there. Too late, I gave him a yard. All right. <laughs> It'll be second and 10 after a yard pickup. 7-10 <laughs> uh, <laughs> to play in the first half. Again, Rochester up. Seven to nothing. And once I put it in the computer, it's can't not coming it out. I'm with right. you. Right on. It's the backspace. <laughs> I don't think we have a backspace on that laptop. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Second and 10 for the Z's at the Whitco 16. Two flankers for Rochester. Heckathorn in motion to the right side. Beck gets the carry going right. West Beck lowers his head, falls to the 10. Give him, give him six yards, and that'll bring up third down and four for the Rochester Zebras. And now. We are in Wilson Lee territory. Oh, yeah, we yeah. saw. Oh, go ahead, Brad. No, I was just going to say we are now with the with the new shoe. Yep. He's got more. Ac I think it's going to improve his accuracy and his distance. He, he can hit a 27 yarder for sure. He was hitting 40 yarders there in pregame. Yep. Michael Kistler told me earlier in the week he was hitting 45 yarders. Gee, yeah, good for him. Yeah. Third and four for the Rochester Zebras of the Whitco 10. Bennett wide right. Flanker to the left side is Heckathorn. Flanker to the right is uh, Hattishell. Heckathorn goes in motion to the right side. Beck again. Beck runs over a couple of Whitco tacklers, carries the ball to around the five, maybe inside the five. Regardless, it'll be first and goal from the five for the Zebras. Nice job by Wes Beck. I think Whitco had bid in on the idea that Rochester was going to pass the ball. And as Hunting rolls out to his right, he slips that ball to Wes Beck, and Beck's able to get around the end and the pick same, up the first down. Same play two times in a row. Shall we see three? I, why not? Patrick. Famous words, if it's not broke. He got 11 yards and two carries. We only need five. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Straight T backfield, two <laughs> tight ends. Heckathorn looking for the end zone. Lowers his head, pushes the pile. Still looking for the pile on, but he's going to give him, give him the one. It'll be pick up a four. It'll be second and goal from the one after a four-yard carry by Jay Heckathorn. 5.40 to play. First half, Zebras up 7 to nothing. Knocking on the door again. This drive started inside the Rochester 10-yard yeah. line. That's the second series in a row it started inside the 10. Yeah, this one's going to end, I think, a little better than the last hey, one did. <laughs> Bennett tight left. <laughs> Shane tight right. Straight T backfield for hunting. Now in motion goes uh, Hattishell to the right. 
Here's the snap. Beck looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Zebras. West Beck in a one-yard touchdown run. The Zebras now up 13 to nothing. West Beck doing what he does best. Pick up that hard one yard. Gives the Zebras a 13-point lead. With 5.13 to play in the fourth, I'm sorry, in the second quarter. And Wilson Lee coming on to attempt the extra point. Abbott the holder, snap his back, hold his down, kick his away. It's a fantastic look and kick, and it's good. 14-0 Rochester. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 5-13 to play in the first half. The Zebra's now up 14-0. 13 plays, 93 yards, capped off by a West Beck one-yard touchdown run. The PAT by Wilson Lee was good. Zebra's now lead 14-0. And right now they need a big defensive stop because Whitco will get the football uh, to start the second half. You're right, and they do. Uh, the Rochester defense has done a great job so far in this first half. They've had some, uh, they've been tested, and uh, they've done a good job answering the call, keeping Whitco out of the end zone. Look out, Elder, one of the deep men. Snep is going to take it at the 15-yard line. Snep at the 20, the 25. Snep tries to run away from the uh, Zebras, and he's going to be cut down shy of the 30. And it looks like from the spot of the cross the field, maybe the 29. We'll wait and see where they mark it. But it will be shy of the 30. Nice pursuit by the Zebra kickoff team. And it'll be first and 10 for Whitco at their own 29-yard line going to our right. 5.07 to play first half. Rochester up 14 to nothing. Again, senior night here at Barnhart Field. And they're going to do something new this year. They are. During halftime, they're going to um, announce every fall sport seniors. So you have girls golf, soccer, boys and girls, uh, cross country, and guys tennis. Yep. And I, I mean, I could be missing someone, but I think that's it. First and 10 for Whitco. Elder back to pass. Looks left. Throws left. It is complete to golf. And Goff muscles his way across the 40-yard line down to around the 42 or 3. It'll be first and 10 on a rare pass completion by the Whitco Wildcats. It takes him out to the 43. I watched Wilson. They just don't do it very often. I watched Wilson right. Lee after that PAT. Zayner has his other shoe in his hand. Wilson Lee takes the other one off. Zayner chucks it at him. He just has to <laughs> put it on tight before Whitco says hike for the most part. Yeah. Jeez. First and 10 for the Wildcats at their own 43. Elder under center, Smiley in motion to the left side. Here's the snap on the option. Elder keeps it, pitches it out to Smiley, who on second effort grabs the football because they just about fumbled that. Not a lot there. It'll be second and long for Whitco. Four and a half to play in the first half. Again, Rochester up 14 to nothing. If I was Whitco coach, I think I'd be afraid to run that again. Yeah, that's that twice that they about booted it. That did not look good at all. Give him one. It'll be second and nine at the 44-yard line of the Wildcats. Again, Whitco going to our right. Ball on the far hash. Kozad wide to the near side. Golf split left. Elder to the line of scrimmage with 19 on the play clock. Sets the line. Killian comes in motion to the near side. He gets a pitch going to the near side. He's trying to run away from the Zebra defense. And Hattishel trips him up the 46. A two-yard gain. It'll be third down and seven for the Wildcats. Uh, giving the 47. It'll be third and six. Nice job by Hattishell shaking off the block and making the tackle. 3.45 to play. In the first half, Rochester up 14 and I think a big third down stand here coming from the Zebra D. Third. And six for the Wildcats. Taking a long time in the huddle. They break the huddle with less than 10 on the play clock. Goes out wide to the near side. Elder under center with five on the play clock. Killian comes in motion. Here's the snap. Gives to Hughes. Hughes, second ever, gets him to midfield, but he's going to be short of about uh, three yards of a first down. It'll be fourth and about three for the Wildcats. And now, does Coach Zander use a timeout? Yeah. Coach Zander will use a timeout. 3-12 to play in the first half. Rochester up 14 to nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 3-12 to play the first half here at Barnhart Field. The Whitco Wildcats, after the Zebra timeout, We'll have it fourth down and three at midfield. You would think that they punted last time on the Rochester side of the 50. You would think they would do that again as Sapp comes back out. He is, he's in punt position. You have to almost punt this. you got to watch for a fake, though. And they kicked it away last time. They kicked it away from Heckathorn. I would assume they're going to try to do that again. All right. Fourth and four. Jeez, watch, just don't watch. run into the kicker. Watch the fake. Here comes the pressure. Sapp gets it away. 
Nice end over in, or yeah, end over in kick, high kick, goes out of bounds inside the Rochester 30, and they're going to spot it out of bounds at the 27. So Rochester will take over at their own 27 yard line with two timeouts and 3.06 to play in the first half. Sounds like enough time to me. I would think. To go down yep, and right even. Here. Two minute offense with three minutes to go. Worst, wor I mean, worst, can't say, <laughs> worst scenario, Wilson Lee, he can kick him. We've yeah, seen why not? It, it, Winnemac leads Caston 34 to nothing in a Midwest uh, Conference showdown. Heckathorn split to the right side. Ball in the near hash. Bennett wide to the left side. Ibax for hunting. On first and 10 from his 27. John takes the snap. Back to pass. Looks to the right. Now back to the left. He's got a wide open. How to shut down the near sideline. Threw behind him. Threw behind him. How to shell catches that. He is gone. There was nobody around. How to shell wide open on the sideline. Like you said, the pass was behind him. He tried to turn around and Back stick one hand yeah. back there and grab it. They just couldn't come down with it. Fantastic play call. It was there. Everything was everything Just was a perfect. fuzz behind him. Yep. And there was even a good throw. It just didn't go in the right place. Yeah, Jacob just couldn't <laughs> stop with momentum yeah. going up the field to yeah. stop and reach back and grab that. So yeah. it'll be second and ten. As Heckathorn wide to the right side, Bennett wide to the near side. Out of the shotgun now is Hunting. Back to his right. Here's the snap. Here comes some pressure. Hunting steps up. He gets popped down the field. He's complete to hell. How to show Heckathorn. Heckathorn at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Zebras. Touchdown, Zebras. And it's 20 to nothing. Great job by John Hunting. The blitz is coming late. Hunting standing there staring the linebacker right in the face as he throws that football as hard as he can. And a great job on the other end by Heckathorn to catch that ball on his fingertips over the outreached hand of the defender and take it to the house for the Zebras. A 73-yard pitch and catch from Hunting to Heckathorn, and the Zebras now up 20 to nothing. And when you have Heckathorn in the flats like that, nobody is touching him or catching him. 2.50 to play. In the second quarter, Rochester up 20 to nothing, and Wilson Lee kicks it through to make it 21 nothing. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 2.50 to play in the first half as Zebra strike again. Yeah, quick two plays, but 73 yards. It was a hunting to Heckathorn, 73-yard touchdown. The PAT was good. Zebras now lead 21 to zero with 2.50 remaining in the second quarter. And I'm gonna say the same thing I just said. Whitco gets the football first in the second half. The defense has got to bear down again and stop them. Yeah, I mean, two, uh, two minutes and 50 seconds, that's plenty of time to score. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We just proved it, so they can do it too. So, Wilson Lee to kick off. Snep and Elder back deep for the Wildcats. He gets the green light, does Wilson Lee, and he will kick it off. End over in kick. Elder's going to take it at the 16. Elder at the 20, the 25, right in the middle. Shakes the tackler, still on his feet. And Elder, whoo, brought down at about the 43. One more. Yeah, yeah, he missed. If Heckathorn misses him, he's, he's gone. <laughs> so first and 10 for the Wildcats at their own 43-yard line going to our right. Now, go back to that scoring play. That pass by Hunting was virtually perfect. And I thought there was an interception coming, but it was just over the outstretched hands of the defender. And Heckathorn did a great job keeping his eye on the football because I thought for sure that had fingers on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then, like Brad said earlier, Heck or Honey had a great job just getting rid of the ball. Oh, he got smoked. Yeah. I saw Xander look at him. He threw that at the last possible yep. second. Honey just he threw was, his hands up in the yeah. air and smiled. Back to passes. Elder, Elder rolls to the left, now throws back to the near side. He's got a receiver. It is incomplete. Oh Abbott just about picked it off. As Elder rolled to his left, threw back across the field to his right, gave Rochester time to get back defensively, and Abbott just about had a pick, but more importantly, knocked it down. Yeah. Well, he had Goff wide open. Unfortunately, he was on the left side of the field. Goff was on the right side yeah. running away from him. He threw it. A long way, and it was enough time for Abbott to close ground and almost come up with the pick. 2.38 to play in the first half. Rochester up 21 to nothing, and the Wildcats looking at second down and 10 from their own 43-yard line. Elder under center with 10, sets the line with 9. Bumball goes in motion to the left. No flag in the play. There's a fumble. Bumball fall on it. I believe so. Yeah, I'm not did. sure how there wasn't a flag with music in the neutral zone, but there is no flag. He must have got back in time. Um, and more importantly for Whitco, they did pick up the loose ball, but loses a couple of yards. And Zayner with third down and 12 will use another timeout. 
2.22 to play in the first half. Rochester up 21 to nothing. We'll take a 30 second break. You're listening to Rochester Football 92.1 WROI. 2.22 to play in the first half. Rochester up 21 to nothing. They use another timeout. Whitco looking at third down and 12 from their own 41 yard line. And you would think a passing down, but we've seen stranger things. Back to pass is Elder. Fakes. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. Had Smiley. And if, he, if Smiley catches it at the 50, he's not only got a first down, but he's gonna probably got about 20 or 25-yard pickup. Well, again, it's a it's a no-drop pass. He basically, Elder just takes one step back away from the center and looks to throw it. He fakes to the slot man coming to the middle and then tries to hit <laughs> he throws the other hard. guy, the other direct coming yeah. the other direction, and yeah, threw it. Way threw too it really hard. hard. So Sap five yard gain. <laughs> Sap on to kick the ball away. He'll punt from inside his 30. Hegathorn back inside his 25 yard line. Snap is back. He muffs the, the snap. He gets it back. He gets it away. Nice kick. Good heavens. Down the far sideline. It takes a Whitco bounce. Rolls inside the 20. Down around the 19. Hegathorn thought about it. How about that punt? After he muffed the snap, it hit him right in the hands. It was a great yeah. snap. He just hit him in the hands. He dropped it. Picked it up on one bounce, he and took, then got away a great punt. He took a side step to the side to get away from the zebra pressure. I think it was hot as shell. And yeah, a booming punt. <laughs> first and 10 for the Zebras at their own 19-yard line. 2.08 to play in the first half. The Zebras have one timeout. Well, I would be surprised to see maybe a screen or I don't know. something. John Hunting, 5 of 8, 155 yards and two touchdowns in the first half. Bennett White of the near side has had a monster first half for the Rochester Zebras. Two flankers for the Zs. How to show, make the Hecathorn comes in motion on the near side. On the jet sweep, he's tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. It'll be second down and long for Rochester. Two minutes to play in the first half. Z's lead 21 to nothing. Coming up at the first half, uh, coming up at halftime, we'll have first half stats, recap of the scoring drives. Uh, we'll also have the week that was, and Val Ciceris of the uh, Rochester Sentinel Sports Editor of the Sentinel will be with us as, as well to recap a uh, exciting week in Rochester athletics. That's all coming up at halftime. Second and 10 for the Z's at their own 19. Eye back formation now for Hunting. Gives off to Hecathorn. Uh, make that shell, and he is wrestled down to the 15. Loses four. It'll be third and four. Back at the fifth, I'm sorry, third and 14. Back at the 15 yard line. Clock rolling, a minute 23 to play in the first half. Now maybe Trav. Yeah, I can see maybe a little screen here. That's what I meant when it's third down. Oh, I see. I read your mind. <laughs> well. A minute 10 to play in the first half. Third down and 14 for the Zebras at their own 15-yard line. Bennett goes wide to the right side. Hecathorn will be flanker to the left. How to shell flanker to the right. Beck, the lone back. Hecathorn goes in motion to the right side. Here's a snap. West Beck gets the carry, going to the right side. West Beck, second effort, gets him a yard. It'll be third down, and now Whitco maybe uses the timeout. The Whitco Wildcats will use a timeout. It'll be fourth down at 12 when we come back after this 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. 48 seconds to play in the first half. Whitco uses a timeout. Rochester will punt the ball away, and you can expect probably all sorts of pressure coming right up the middle at the punter. Yeah, absolutely. A little block punt here, a muff punt. That's what Whitco's hoping for, so West Beck's just going to get it off right away, we're hoping. Beck stands at his 10. Snaps a high one. He reaches up for it. Here comes the pressure. He just gets it away before the block. It's a pretty good kick. Comes to the near side. Takes a Rochester roll. And will go out of bounds at the Rochester 48-yard line. Wow. wow, that Rochester. was close. Yeah, they escaped there with that. Nice job of West Beck just to get that off. Yeah. Woo. So it'll be first and 10 for the Wildcats with 40 seconds to play in the first half. The Zebra's up 21 to nothing. The ball will be at the Rochester 48-yard line. And the one thing that hasn't worked tonight for Whitco was that one-and-a-half-step drop to one of the flankers coming out of the backfield. Right. Uh, and if they catch that, it's a big gainer. I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to that here. They've only had one catch out of that, and it was 13 yards. So, But every one of them has been open for 10 yards. They just haven't caught it. Elder on the ball. Killian comes in motion to the near side. Here's a pitch to Hughes going outside left. Hughes turns it upfield. Hughes gets a blocker. He's got a first down. He's still on his feet. Hughes down the left sideline. Cuts it back in towards the middle of the field. Hughes being chased from behind. He's looking for the end zone. He is caught by Bennett, but not until he gets inside the five. Give him the four. It'll be a pickup of 44 yards and a Whitco Wildcat first down. Well, Hughes has only had two big runs, but they've come to 
equaled 74 yards. He gets 44 on that one and single-handedly almost brings Whitco back into this ball game. Clock rolls, 25 seconds to play in the first quarter. And now Whitco will use another timeout. 21.6 to play in the first quarter. It's another Whitco timeout. It's a 30. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 21.6 to play. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to change the clock. As the entire team turns around and looks at the uh, press box. Right now it's 21.6 to play in the first half. The Wildcats have it first and goal from the Rochester four. They have one timeout left. Rochester up 21 to nothing. And now they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to get nasty now to keep Whitco out of the uh, end zone. And they get the football first to start the second half. 0.2 seconds, I'm good with that. So I believe we're going to put some time back on the clock. Rochester up 21 to nothing. Time running out here in the first half. The Wildcats have it first and goal from the Zebra four. There's going to be about 24 seconds, I'm guessing, in this to go in this first half. 24, yep. And Whitco on the football ball in the near hash. Hughes just had a great big 44-yard gain. Elder under center. Takes a snap. Gives the Hughes going left. Hughes jumps the pile looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Touchdown. Well, Tanner Hughes this time. Finds the end zone going over the top of the Zebra defense. And Whitco's going to finish the half with a score and start the second half with the ball. Yeah. Yikes. 19 seconds to play in the second quarter. Wildcats are on the board. It's 21 to 6 and the extra point coming. Left foot a kicker for the Wildcats. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away, and it looks like it goes wide right, and it does. No good. 21 to 6, Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 19 seconds to play in the first half. The Wildcats on the board. Yep, two plays, 48 yards, capped off by a uh, four-yard Tanner Hughes touchdown run. The PAT by the right-footed kicker was no good. Ze uh, Zebra's lead 21 to 6 with... Uh, 19 seconds in the first half. Uh, I, I, I think that's, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, it's not good, especially with, like we said, Whitco getting the ball back. Uh, the momentum changed, that's for sure. Yeah. I, I guess a positive note off that was the PAT was no good. I mean. Well, Rochester offensively has been doing a pretty good job, and the defense has played well, exception of two plays. Yeah. And I think Coach Zayner is going to start driving in that point that uh, they've got to do a better job executing against Hughes. So here comes the kickoff. Wildcats low end over end kick. Heckathorn picks it up at the 23. Jay Heckathorn right up the middle. Heckathorn splits the defense. He's at the 50, the 45. He's at the 40. He's gone. Heckathorn's gone at the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Zebras. Touchdown, Zebras. No flags. Touchdown, Zebras. Jay Heckathorn finally did it. There I've you been go, Brad. For that there you go, year. Brad. Jay Heckathorn <laughs> takes it right up the middle, following his blocks, makes a move to the outside, and nobody. Nobody is fast enough to catch Jay Hackathorn when he gets to the sideline. A 77-yard kickoff return put the Zebras up 21 to six, and the extra point coming. 27-6. And just what like I say, <laughs> what I say, something different. <laughs> Over two. Just like we talked about, though, the momentum changed for the Wildcats, and Zebras took the momentum right back going into the half. 27 to six, Rochester. Snap is back. It's a low snap. Abbott's going to take it around the near side. Abbott. Switches directions, looking for the end zone, lunges, it is, no signal yet, it is good, the two-point conversion is good. 29-6, to six, Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 7.5 seconds to play in the first half, the Zebras are getting ready to kick off again. Well, one play, 77 yards, which was a Jay Heckathorn, 77-yard kick return for a touchdown. The PAT was botched, but Brett Abbott was able to pick it up and run in for the two-point conversion. Zebras lead 29-6 to six with seven seconds to go kick in it the out first of bounds. half. Kick it out of bounds. Wilson Lee kicks off, taken at the 20, in stride by, I believe, Snap. Snap is tripped up and falls across the his 40-yard line to about the 44. I'm sorry, the 41. So 29 to 6, 3.9 to play in the first half. Zebras lead, and Whitco probably down to their final play of the first half from their own 40, 41-yard line. Jay Heckathorn 
77-yard kickoff return, uh, return that I thought twice he was handled as both both times the defender was reaching for his shoulder pads, reaching for the jersey, and he ran away from him. Unbelievable. That's something Brad's been preaching on since week one. Heckethorn kickoff return. He's been so close all year. And no flag. Yeah, that's more importantly. <laughs> Elder under center on first and ten with three seconds to play in the first half. Back to pass. Looks left, looks left. Throws left oh, down the far oh. sideline. He's got a receiver. It is incomplete. Overthrows golf, and that'll do it for the first half. At halftime, the Zebras lead 29 to 6. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Cruise One, Tatter and Associates of Rochester invite you to join them on a five night Royal Caribbean cruise to Grand Cayman Island and Cozumel, Mexico. Travel by luxury motor coach from Rochester to Tampa, where you will board the brilliance of the seas for your five night Royal Caribbean cruise. Your package includes all travel arrangements, travel insurance, prepaid gratuities, and more. Contact Debbie Tatter at Cruise One to reserve your seat on this perfect winter getaway. We are ready for the th start of the third quarter with Rochester leading 29 to six here at Barnhart Field. Wilson Lee to kick off. Lee puts a right foot into it, end over end. Snap's gonna take it at the 21. Snap bobbles, regains it, right at the middle. Zach Snap then runs into the Zebra defense and is pushed backwards at the 43 hunting right there also there for the zebras Rensberger Thomas Rensberger getting a good hit Ross Pearson is, is there as well so the zebras will start I'm sorry the Whitkill Wildcats will start this drive at their own 43 yard line going to our right with the zebras leading 29 to 6 foot on the gas foot on the gas yeah Whitco had some success running the football there late in the first half. Let's we'll see if they can pick it up here in the third. Elder comes to the line of scrimmage. Hughes behind him. Elder takes a snap. Back to pass. Looks to the left. Throws to the left. It is complete. And that pass to Goff carries him into Rochester territory down to around the Zebra 42-yard line. First and 10 Wildcats. Well, if the pass game's working this early in the second half, that means the run game's going to be just, just that effective. So they need to watch out for... Um, yeah. Tanner Hughes at any time. Well, that's a good-looking pass by Elder to Goff, hit him right between the one and the five, and Goff carried it out to the 42-yard line of the Rochester Zebras. I'm sorry, the 37-yard line of the Rochester Zebras. First and 10 for Whitco. Elder under center, takes a snap, flips it to Hughes going left. Hughes down the left side, still on his feet. Hughes off to the races at the 10, the five touchdown Wildcats. Yikes. Yeah, two plays, and Whitco is on the board again. Zebra's not ready for Hughes as he come out of that left side, breaks a tackle, and then he is gone. 11-23 to play in the third quarter. Wildcats on the board again. It's 29-12. And it looks like they will go for two. So the Wildcats on the football. Golf goes wide to the left side. Goes out wide to the near side. Elver under center with Hughes behind him. Killian comes in motion to the near side. He gets a pitch going right. Killian cuts it back inside looking for the end zone. It's two point conversion's good. 29-14, Zebra's still up. They'll get the ball for the first time in the second half. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. Welcome back to Rochester High School. Well, two plays, and the Whitco Wildcats strike first in the second half. Yep, two plays, 57 yards, <clears throat> capped off by a Tanner Hughes, 32-yard touchdown run. The two-point conversion was good. Zebra's lead 29-14 with 11-23 remaining in the third quarter. So the Wildcats to kick off again. Back deep is Abbott and Heckathor, and they stand at their 20-yard line. Watch out for the onside kick. You know, we've been we've talked about that a couple of times here tonight already. The Wildcats ready for the kick. It's a short end over end kick. Abbott takes it to the 26. Abbott up the middle. Oh, and is drilled and driven backwards at about the 33. Yowza. Whitco came out of the locker room, fired up. And you would think they were leading right now, 29-14, yeah. the way they're playing. Woo, that was a pop right under the chin of Brett Abbott. So the Zebras will take over. Give him the 34. That's where this drive will start. Rochester up 29-14 to 14 with 11-20 to play in the third quarter, and they're on the football. They need to put a drive together here and take some they of that to air. 
Take yep. some of that air out of Whitco's I agree. Sales. Bennett wide to the right side, hunting under center. Heckathorn goes in motion to the right. He gets a carry. Reverse. And a reverse to Hattachel. Hattachel to 40, at the 45, now to Whitco territory. And it's finally cut down shy of the Whitco 40. Boy, that reverse happened so quickly in this so small of an area. That I think, Trav, you're the only one that saw that, to be honest with you. Heckathorn got it with a jet sweep going right and quickly gave it back to Heckathorn coming to the left. And Hattachel, he was, on, he, he was untouched. 30, 20, 30 yards into the other yeah. side. So first and 10 for the Zebras, now at the Whitco 41. Rochester quickly on the football, eye back formation. Bennett wide to the right side, flanker to the left to Heckathorn. Here's a snap, had a shell up the middle. Jacob had a shell. Carries the ball inside the Whitco 40 to the 39, giving two, it'll be second and eight. Must your, your glasses are right here if you need to wear them. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can't see very well, but do you want, do you want me to get them for you? <laughs> He's learning how this all works. Isn't he? I'm <laughs> muted. <laughs> Second down and eight for the Zebras at the Whitco 39 yard line. Ball in the near hash. Zebras on the football, but it's split to the right side. Eye backs for John Hunting. Flanker to the left is he Heckathorn. Here's a snap. Had a shell again going left. Had a shell stopped at the line of scrimmage and second effort gets him nothing. Uh, maybe a yard. Give him the yard. It'll be third and seven. Nice job by Whitco up front. Blowing up the Rochester offensive line. Heckathorn only ahead for a yard. It'll be third and seven. Ten minutes to play in the, in the third quarter with Rochester up 29 to 14. Whitco on their first uh, drive of the second half. Carried the ball down the field in two plays and scored for 57 yards. And tightened this thing up a little bit. Bennett wide to the right side. Two flankers for Rochester. Hunting under center. Heckathorn in motion. Back to pass is Hunting. Has the receiver down the middle of the field. As Kissler is incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down and seven. Hunting never had a chance to set his feet. He was trying to throw that football while he was still retreating from the line of scrimmage. And, and now came you play, up way short. Now do you play the field position game? You have to. You have to. You got to get your defense fired up. You got to get them ready. Fourth down and seven for the Rochester Zebras. 9.37 to play in the third quarter. 29-14 Rochester. And I would imagine Zebras will kick the ball away here as they have it fourth and seven at yeah. the Whitco 38. Nobody back deep to receive the uh, kick for Whitco. They're not sold that this is going to be uh, a punt. It goes it's to Bennett. Back. Have it to, to Wilson. <laughs> Wilson has it completed inside the 25 to the 22. First and 10. Rochester. And Wilson Lee very lucky he wasn't whistled for a false start as he was leaning forward before the ball was snapped. You're right, Brett Abbott. I don't think Rochester, they didn't hide that at all. It no. didn't seem like Beck gave a, 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 a academic uh, academy level uh, performance there calling for the ball, but uh, I, I don't I, think anybody was fooled. I noticed on the sidelines, Hunting and uh, Hattachel went straight to Zayner. They looked at him funny. Something looks up. <laughs> First and 10 for the Z's of the 22 of Whitco. Hunting pitches to Hattachel, who gives to Heckathorn coming to the near side. Heckathorn runs away from the defense, cuts it upfield, and is buried as he's going to lose a yard at the 23. It'll be second and 11 at the 23. Again, uh, Whitco not fooled on the reverse this time. Brought down by Zach Snep for the Whitco Wildcats. They probably should have lost about five or six instead of one. <laughs> I would agree. Second and 11 for the Zebras at the Whitco 23-yard line. 8.50 to play in the third quarter. The Zebras leading 29-14. And they got it inside the 25 with a fake punt. Bennett goes wide to the left side, short side of the field, wide right as Heckathorn. High backs for Hunting on second and 11. John takes a snap, pitches to Hattachel, fakes a handoff, rolls to the right, cuts it back inside, now cuts it, still on his feet, cuts it to the end zone, looking down the sideline, looking for the end zone, touchdown Zebras! There and we now got a flag! flag. I think <laughs> I think they might uh, get Hattachel for a little taunting after the <laughs> touchdown. Will it be after? If it's on Hattachel, it should It'll be. It'll be after. Hattachel did a great job who was bottled up on the sideline, kept his feet moving, and cut it outside the side. That is a touchdown, and it will be a personal foul and sportsmanlike on the Whitco Wildcats. Oh, wow. So well, I saw Hattachel cross the goal line, immediately stop and turn back and face the Wildcats. I'm assuming he said something. Yeah, I saw that too, Brad. But apparently uh, it was the Wildcats doing the talking. So Hattachel scores on a 23-yard touchdown run, and the Zebras answer the Whitco 
uh, score in the uh, first uh, series of the second half, and Wilson Lee will be on to attempt the extra point as the score now is 35 to 14, with 8.25 to play in the third. Snap is down, hold us. Uh, snap is back, hold it down, kicks it away, it's good. 36-14, Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 8.25 to play in the third quarter. The Zebras answer the Wildcat score, Trav. Seven plays, 66 yards, capped off by uh, Jacob Hattishell, 23-yard touchdown run. The PAT by Wilson Lee was good. Zebras lead 34, or, I'm sorry, 36-14 with 8.25 remaining in the third glasses? quarter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I can't see. Well, that was definitely the Rochester <laughs> offense needed that score. Oh, boy. Yeah. Big time. I agree. And so now, instead of kicking off from the 40-yard, the Rochester's 40-yard line, Wilson Lee will kick off from the Whitco 45 after the 15-yard penalty. Hopefully this will result in the Zebras getting excellent field position or pinning Wildcats deep. That's a new kicker. Got it. Number three. Um, <laughs> well, we don't have a number three. I'm sorry, people. And Elder... Takes the ball across the 25 and is spun down at the 23-yard line and driven, uh, thrown backwards by Brett Abbott. And number three is the freshman kicker that uh, is a move-in. I don't remember his name. I beg your pardon. Val? No. No. What? First and ten for the Wildcats. Yes, Zane Duff. Zane Duff is the uh, freshman kicker that just kicked off there for Rochester. Person to take advantage of a new school rule that allows an athlete to play another sport and football. As long as he's a kicker. Okay. He has to be a kicker though. Oh wow. We'll uh, we'll translate that here in a minute. <laughs> or do whatever we have to do. On the option. Elder keeps it. Left side, Elder tripped up. Second effort gets him across the 35, maybe to the 36. Nope, they're gonna say he was down to the 34. Well, he so sold that pretty good. What Val just said was do me say it for you? There's a, there's a new <laughs> rule that says as long as you are a kicker, you can play football and another, another sport. Yeah. Another fall sport. So, and obviously Duff being a soccer player, he's elected to play football and, and has come on. He's going to help Rochester with the kicking duties, but Wilson Lee is really doing a fantastic job here of late for the Rochester Zebras. Uh, but you're right. He'll be a dual sport athlete here in the fall for Rochester. So it'll be second down and four after a six-yard game by Elder with seven and a half to play in the third. Elder on the football. Pitches to Hughes going left. That has worked well for him tonight. Hughes did not go for 40 or 50 like he has done the last couple of times, but he does get a first down as he carries it out across his 40. No, give him the 40. Right at the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Wildcats at his own 40 with 7.24 to play in the third. Again, Rochester up. Well, the leading rusher in the TRC has 131 yards, two touchdowns on 11 carries. It's still 36 to 14, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. 36 to 14 here at Rochester High School. No. First and 10, back to pass, Elder. Ball tipped up in the air by Schaefer, and it falls to the ground, second and 10. 721 to play in the third quarter. That reminded me of a little J.J. Watt. <laughs> what which time last night? <laughs> he was a monster. He is a monster. But hey, Mus, your old team, the Colts, they won. I huh, didn't even know they were playing. <laughs> then what did it remind you of? <laughs> <laughs> Second uh, and ten uh, for the Wildcats in their own 40. Rochester up 36 to 14. Goes out wide to the near side. <laughs> Elder under center. Elder. Hands off to Hughes going right. Hughes shakes a tackler, shakes another tackler, carries the ball to the Rochester 49. Well, he gives Brett Abbott a, a stiff arm right in the face mask. Abbott stayed with it, and he has finished off with help with uh, Bennett, and that'll be a first down for Whitco at the Rochester 49. Uh, Hughes is not all that big, but, boy, he runs, <laughs> he runs angry. Big. Angry, absolutely. He that changes will. direction so fast. He, he'll carry people, will run over people. Yeah. And he's quick, too. It reminds me of, like, Beck and Hattishell yeah. kind of in one he's, body. He's the first back in the TRC to gain 100 yards on the Zebras. And now he's over 1,000 easily. Hughes right up the middle, stopped after about a, a yard gain. Nice <laughs> job there by the Zebra front guys. Uh, Wilson Lee was there. Bennett was there. Also, uh, Connor McLaughlin and West Beck there for the Zebras. And they're going to give him one yard. It'll be second down and nine. He might be over 1,000 for the season, not tonight. <laughs> 
That's why that would I be was a, That would be yeah. a new record. Yeah. <laughs> he does have 143 yards tonight, though. Does he really? Yes, he's on his way. You know, it was a Fulton from Plymouth who rushed for over 200 yards against yeah. the Zebras. At the rate Tanner Hughes is going, he'll be right there with him. 6.20 to play in the third. Rochester up 36-14. to 14. Elder under center with four on the play clock. Now with three, now with two. Here's a snap. Gives the Hughes going left. Hughes outruns the defense front line. Lowers his head. Man, that momentum. He runs downhill as soon as he gets the football as he carries it out to the Rochester 44-yard line. He gained four yards after the contact of them trying to tackle. Uh, give him the 43 and a pickup of six. It'll be third down and four. 5.45 to play in the third quarter. Third and four for the Whitco Wildcats at the Rochester 43. Again, both teams here, in case you're just joining us, perfect 5-0 in the TRC. One game left for each. Rochester will go to North Miami next week, and Whitco will have Valley. Whitco finally on the football with four on the play clock, with three, with two, with one. Here's the snap. Pitches out to Smiley going left. Smiley has a first down down there. Whitco sideline. Give him five yards, and we have a zebra tackler down to the far side. That uh, looks like Jordan Schaefer. No, Schaefer, yeah, that could be. I can tell he, he was wearing the white long sleeves. Well, we have an injury timeout coming up. More from the third quarter at Rochester. The Zebras lead 36-14. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. 5.21 to play in the third. It was Jordan Schaefer. He comes off of, under his own power, just kind of walking off the field, hel helmet in right hand. Uh, Christina's used here to his right. He's good. Coach Zaner to his left. Uh, he's walking off. Maybe a little limp, but, but not a lot there. Yeah, he doesn't, doesn't look it like it's anything too serious. So it'll be first and 10 for the Wildcats at the Zebra 37 yard line with Rochester up 36 to 14. Whitco putting a drive together again. With uh, five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Elder under center. Smiley in motion to the left. Elder takes a snap, pitches a Smiley going left. Smiley met at the line of scrimmage. Second effort gets him to the 35. Give him a pickup of two, it'll be second and eight. More importantly, clock rolls, five minutes to play in the third. Again, Rochester up 36 to 14. Schaefer, I think, is ready. He's going to put his helmet back on. He walks away from Christina Hughes, the trainer, standing around now right beside Coach Mike Zayner. Second and eight for, Wild, uh, for Whitco. Ball in the far hash at the Rochester 35. Ten on the play clock. Here's a snap. Pitches to Hughes going left. Hughes, another big gain. He's got a first down on the far sideline. And finally ran out of bounds at about the 15 of the Rochester Zebras. Another big gain for the Whitco Wildcats. Another 20-yard gain for Hughes. Gives him 170 on the night. Give him the 14 as Schaefer comes back into the game for Rochester. That's his fourth run tonight of over 20 yards. They ran that time from where, from where Schaefer would have played. They ran right yeah. at him. Yep. Well, they've been attacking that left side of the or the right side of the zebra defense all night long 428 to play in the third the Whitco Wildcats knocking on the door again as they're inside the red zone at the Rochester 14 yard line going to our right Elder under center quickly takes a snap gives to Hughes Hughes up the middle Hughes lunges forward gets to the Hughes five the give him nine it'll be second and one from the five yard line for the Wildcats, who I thought moved early. Well, give it to Tanner Hughes. The young man averages over six yards a carry, and he's got 179 yards on 16 carries tonight. Second and one for the Wildcats at the Zebra five under four to play in the third. Rochester up to 36 to 14. Wildcats break the huddle with 10 on the play clock. 42. Yeah, averaging over 10 yards a carry. Yep. Smiley goes in motion left. Hughes. And oh, the oh, fumble. Oh. And the Zebras have it. The, he faked. Elder faked the ball to Hughes. Tried to pull it out of his gut. Ball hit the ground. The Zebras recover. Why would you do that? Just give wow. it to 42. He's been give running all over us. 
Well, great job by the Rochester defense, forcing a fumble and coming away with the opportunity and keeping the Wildcats out of the end zone. Now if the offense can come on the field and take advantage of the turnover and lengthen their lead as we go at the end of the fourth, third quarter. For the third time tonight, Brad, Rochester starts inside their own 10. And they'll go to a two tight end, straight T backfield. Heck, uh, Hattachel goes in motion to the right side. Hunting gives to Beck up the middle. Wes Beck pushes across the five. Ugh, maybe. Maybe a yard. Not a lot there. Clock rolls three and a half to play in the third. Rochester up 36-14. They're going to give him nothing. It'll be second and ten. The down marker didn't even move. That fumble recovery was by Lane Coffey in his first night back in action. Yeah, welcome back, young man. Welcome back, sir. Rochester up 36 to 14. Second down and 10 from there. Five yard line going to our left. They'll send two tight ends and straight T backfield again. Heckathorn gets the carry. Heckathorn pops outside. Now cuts it back inside. Jay Heckathorn fighting for the 15 yard line. He gets to the 16 and spun down at the 16 yard line. And if that's. Great effort by Jay Heckathorn. Yeah. And a good block by Bennett out here on the corner to spring him for another five or six yards. As well as that left side of the offensive line, which is uh, Lane Coffin and Tanner Music. Winnemac defeats uh, Caston tonight 67 to nothing. Ouch. Ouch is a good word. I guess they'll uh, probably keep their number one ranking for another week. I would think so. <laughs> it's not like the BCS of the crane. Oh, that's yeah. not, that doesn't that exist, doesn't exist anymore, anymore either. either. See, even the college didn't like it. Out of shell gets a carry out of the straight tee backfield. Out of shell kicks it to the outside at the 30, caught from behind. As out of shell caught by Zach Snap from behind as he gets out to his own 34 yard line. First and 10 for the Z's. As all he saw in front of him was green grass in the end zone. Yeah, great job by Jake Hattashell, 18 yards on the carry, and he was looking at the end zone and He's having a good and night. Caught from behind. Yeah, another 121 yards for Jake Hattishell. That's a normal night for him. <laughs> Anymore, you're right. Rochester will stay in that two tight end straight T look. Everybody in tight. From the 34, hunting to Heckathorn. Heckathorn had met in the backfield, slips the tackler, got it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and 10. 2-10 to play in the third. Rochester up 36 to 14. Side note for the Rochester offense, as long as they keep moving the football, they keep that clock turning. Yeah, absolutely. You know, folks are listening, it's 36 to 14, and but I feel uh, I could be it, totally it, all wet. It feels more like a two-point ball yeah, game than it, a 22-point game. It feels game. like it's a whole lot closer than 36 yeah, to 14. I agree. Two tight ends, Bennett left, Shane right, straight tee backfield for Rochester on second and 10. Out of shell, uh. hit hard in the backfield by three Whitco Wildcats, somebody forgot to block up front like everybody. He's going to lose two yards. It'll be third and 12. 90 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester looking to third down and 12. Well, he's been quiet in the second half, but is it time to give the ball to Bennett maybe? Well, I was just going to say, hunting was spot five of eight with two touchdowns and 155 yards in the first half. He's 0 for 1 in the second half. Bennett is tied to the left side. Heckathorn split right, third down and 12, faked handoff. Had a, uh, heck, uh, had a hunting down the field to Bennett, it's complete! Bennett make a sliding catch at the Whitco 46 and a first down for the Zebras. Great job by Bennett to get down underneath that football and make the catch before he goes out of bounds. I wasn't so sure he wasn't held when he turned the corner. Yeah. First and 10 for the Z's at the Whitco 46 yard line. Outstanding night so far for Gavin Bennett. 21 yards. Yeah, he's over 100 for the first time this year. Yep. Uh, no, the maybe second not. Time, 100, 103 yards on five catches. Two tight ends for Rochester at the Whitco 46. Here's a snap. Hattashell gets it. Jacob Hattashell shakes one tackler at the 40 and ridden out of bounds at about the 38-yard line of the Whitco Wildcats. He's going to pick up about eight yards. It'll bring up second down and uh, give him... Give him seven, it'll be second and three. At the 39 yard line of the Whitco Wildcats, 58 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 36 to 14. Kissler brings a play in from the sideline. Brad Thomas, Travis Watering, I'm David Musselman. Ball in the near hash. Bennett will go wide to the left, uh, right side, which is the Whitco sideline. I like this short, second short, throw it to Bennett. 
Second down and three, hunting under center. John hands off to Beck. Beck right up the middle. He's got a first down. Keeps his legs turning. Gets across the 35, inside the 35 to the 34, giving five and a zebra first down. He's been pretty quiet in the second half as well, but good job by West Beck there. Just gets the ball, puts his head down, and gets the easy first yeah. down. Yep. He's got a one-yard touchdown run tonight, does West Beck. 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester first and 10 at the Whitco 34-yard line. Bennett will go split to the right side. Flanker left is Heckathorn. Split backs for hunting. Shane is tight right. Heckathorn in motion to the right side. Hands off to Beck right up the middle. Wes Beck, second and third effort, gets him to the 31, giving three. And probably the last play of the third quarter, I am to assume. It will be a pickup of three and second down and seven. Rochester will not run another play in this quarter. After three, Rochester leads 36-14. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. Cruise One, Tatter & Associates of Rochester invites you to join them on a five-night Royal Caribbean cruise to Grand Cayman Island and Cozumel, Mexico. Travel by luxury motor coach from Rochester to Tampa, where you will board the brilliance of the seas for your five-night Royal Caribbean cruise. Your package includes all travel arrangements, travel insurance, prepaid gratuities, and more. Contact Debbie Tatter at Cruise One to reserve your seat on this perfect winter getaway. Fourth and final quarter we go here at Rochester High School. The Zebras trying to celebrate a senior night with a big win against the Whitco Wildcats, who are 5-0, as are the Rochester Zebras, 5-0 in the TRC. The Zebras lead right now 36-14. As quarter number four starts, it'll be second down and seven for Rochester at the Whitco 31. Brad Thomas, Travis Watchering, I'm David Musselman. We've seen a pretty good game here tonight at Rochester. Hunting under center. Back to pass, he oh. keeps right up the middle. John, oh, John Hunting on the quarterback draw. Pull the ball back to throw the ball and uh, carries it out to the, uh, up to the 29. So he picks up two, it'll be third and four. Third and, yeah, third and five. That's interesting. Northfield leads Southwood 20. 7-21. 27-21 at the end of three. Wow. What happened to Robbie Cole? Did he get hurt? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or hollers. Yeah. Third and five for Rochester. The Whitco 29. High backs for hunting. John gives off to Hattashell. He's got a first down. Jacob Hattashell inside the 20. Down around the 19. First and 10, Zebras. Nice job by Jacob Hattashell putting a little move there at the line of scrimmage to break free and pick up 10 yards and a first down. Having a great night again is Jacob Hattashell. 137 yards rushing, and the Zebras in the red zone again as Kissel brings a play in from the sideline. 11-10 to play in the game. Rochester up 36-14. And we'll have it first and 10 at the Whitco 19-yard line. Ball in the far hash. Heckathorn split right. Bennett tight left. Kissler tight right. Ibacks for hunting. John to Hattashell. Jacob at the 15. The 10 has a block looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Zebras! Great job by Jacob Hattashell. He had... Bennett and Kissler out in front of him leading the way, getting the block there at about the six yard line to put him in the end zone. Jacob Hattashell scores in a 19 yard touchdown run to put the Zebras up 42 to 14. With 10.52 to play in the football game. Wilson Lee will come on to attempt the extra point. And Brett Abbott will be your holder. Wilson Lee trying to quickly tie his shoe. Snap his back, hold his down, kick us away, and it is good. 43 to 14, Zebras lead. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. 10.52 to play in the game, Trav. 12 plays, 95 yards. Jay ha Jacob had a show, 19 yard touchdown run. The PAT by Wilson Lee was good. Zebras lead 43 to 14. Duff's end over end kick comes up to Elder at the 20. Elder at the 25. Slips the tackle at the 30. At the 35 and ridden down at about the 36. McLaughlin there to bring him down. Elder slow to get up. 
Elber still hasn't gotten up. Gets up now, and he is limping bad on that left leg. Not good news for Whitco. That's the quarterback. Elber comes out of the game. And we're going to have a new quarterback in the game. Number uh, 15. Number 15, uh, Landon Goff. The half, the halfback. Nope, I believe it's going to be 12. Brady Weeks. Brady Weeks six, is? 6'1", 170, junior. So Weeks brings a club to the line of scrimmage, and you've got to assume here there's going to be no option. Just give it to 42 <laughs> and ride him. Let him go. Weeks takes a snap. Pitches to Hughes going right. Hughes cuts it back inside, cuts it back outside, gets to the 40. Second ever at the 41. Hughes around the right side. He picks up about five. Crosses the 40-yard line. It'll be second down at about five for the Whitco Wildcats as he goes out of bounds on the far side, and Whitco has another player down. Jordan Schaefer on the tackle. He is slow to get up. It's not Hughes, is it? Nope, the lineman. Actually got six yards on the play. It's going to be second down and four. Ten and a half to play in the game. Rochester up 43 to 14. Hughes continues to add to his totals tonight as he's look, looking to uh, lengthen the gap between he and Jacob Hattishell, who came in with just six yards separating them from the uh, conference rushing lead. All right, now he's got about 30 more yards than what Hattishell has. Second down. And four for the Whitco Wildcats at, the Roch uh, at their own 41. Smiley comes in motion to the near yeah, side, and now we have a false start, so that'll back him up five. Well, you'll have that when you get a new quarterback in, you get a different yeah. uh, cadence. Uh, that's no, uh, he's, that's, no, Elder's back in. Okay. That hughes Hattishell little race they have going on, that's probably not even in their minds right now. I know Hattishell's just thinking, hey, we're 5-0, and they're 5-0, and the winner of this is the TRC champion. Let him have more yards than me. We'll take, yeah, we'll take the patch. Right. <laughs> we'll take the trophy. Second and 10 as the five-yard walk-off. Back to the 36. Back to pass is Elder. Looks to the near side. Over the middle it is. Inca oh, oh. Picked up by Abbott. Picked up by Abbott. Abbott down to the near sideline. Has Marcus in front. Cuts it back towards the middle. Abbott shakes the tackle. He's still on his feet at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Zebras. Touchdown, Zebras. Nice job by Brett Abbott. That ball was thrown behind the receiver by Elder. And uh, the ball was tipped, tipped, by a few people. tipped around by the defenders of Rochester. Abbott comes up with it and uh, returns it 55, 56. 50 yards. 50 yards for the Rochester Zebras as they attack six more onto the scoreboard. 49 to 14. Wilson, nope. Uh, Duff will come on the field to attempt the extra point as Abbott holding. 9.37 to play in the ball game. Rochester up 49 to 14 and the extra point coming by Duff. Well, I tell you what, we've had an interception return for a touchdown and a kickoff return and the oh. snap goes through the hands of Abbott. It's gotta be no good. So the kick is no good. Rochester at 49-14. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 9.37 to play in the football game. The Rochester Zebras score again. Yeah, with the Rochester uh, Zebras, Brett Abbott had an interception for a pick six. 50-yard touchdown return. The PAT was muffed. Zebras lead 49-14 with nine minutes to go. The interception came after about three different hands <laughs> yeah. touched the football, and I'm not sure uh, one of them was a Whitco hand, maybe two of them. And then one was a Rochester hand, and then Abbott, great hand-eye coordination, grabbed the football and took it to the house. As the kickoff goes to an up guy for Whitco, and one of those up men takes it across the 35-yard line to the 37. So that's where the Wildcats here will start, as that time Elder did not re return the uh, kickoff. He wasn't even in there. Good thing. 9.32 to play in the game. Rochester up 49 to 14. Don't forget, they'll close out the regular season next week on the road at North Miami. The uh, sectional draw for the guys Sunday night at 8 o'clock. You can hear the draw here on 92.1 WROI. So Elder brings the troops to the line of scrimmage. They'll start this drive at their own 37, going to our left. Pitch going right to Killiam. Killiam then is cut down to the 40. Give him three, it'll be second and seven. I haven't heard anybody else's name, but 
Hughes for so long. I wondered if anybody else is even on the page. <laughs> Second and seven for Whitco. Clock rolls at 9 10 to play in the football game. Rochester up 49 to 14. Ball on the far hash, which is the Whitco sideline. Golf comes, uh, comes wide to the near side. Elder under center. Killing him in motion again to the right. Here's the handoff to Hughes. Hughes right up the middle. Grabbed by the waist. Shakes the tackler. Gets out to the uh, gets out to his own 44. Which will bring up third down. And about three for the Whitco Wildcats. 8.35 to play in the game. Again, Whitco with the football in third down and three at their own 44-yard line. Lambert, Lambert, Elder to Hughes. Hughes shakes the tackler and lunges for the sticks. He's going to be short of about a yard, He's and he'll bring up fourth down and one after a two-yard gain. Music. I think it was music for Zebras. In the backfield, hitting yeah. in the backfield, yeah. Look at the coaching staff down there for Rochester with shorts on. I've got three layers on and I'm freezing up here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fourth and one for the Wildcats. 7.50 to play in the game. 49 to 14. Elder takes a snap. Gives to Hughes up the middle. Hughes stopped at the line of scrimmage. Second effort gets him to the sticks. Yikes. That's going to be close. He's nearer first down. He gets out to the 46, well, and the spot, yeah, the spot across the way is going to be about the 46 and a half, and that'll that'll be enough. Give him two, and a Whitco first down. Ball at the 47. 7:40 to play in the football game. Whitco has it first and 10 at their own 47-yard line. Again, the Wildcats going to our left. And we have a injury situation. Does Killiam come out, does he? Sherwin has a new tailback in the game. Nope, he's the new fullback in the game. Back to passes. Elder, he has popped as he's hit. And then Goff. And Hunting fought for the football coming down, and the ball lands on the field. My goodness, was that was that Schaefer? Was that music? Who popped him? 69. McLaughlin? McLaughlin, Good yeah. heavens. He was there before he even got the, almost before he got the football. <laughs> so it'll be second down and 10 with the clock stopped at 7.20 to play in the football game. The passing game has not been kind to Whitco yeah. tonight. Boy, Elder took another pop there. Yeah. Hughes back into the game. He's in the uh, fullback position. Elder under center on second and ten. Pitches to Hughes going right. Hughes shakes a tackler. Wilson Lee hanging on for dear life and drives him backwards. He's going to lose two. It's going to be third and 12. That's the first that negative yard run that Hughes has had all night. Third down and 12 for the Wildcats. Seven minutes of play in the game. Rochester leading 49 to 14. You would think they'd have to go back to the air here, but maybe not. I mean, that sweep around the left side has worked really, really well it for them tonight. Well. Miami scored a touchdown and a two-point conversion. They now lead Valley 41 to 22. <laughs> North Miami now leads Tipping New Valley 41 to 22 late in that ball game. Third and 12 for Whitco at their own 45. Elder back to pass. Rolls to the near side. Here comes the pressure. Throws it up for grabs. It is complete to kill him. Killiam carries it out to the Rochester 49, and that'll bring up fourth down and about six after a six-yard gain. Yeah, give him seven. It'll be second, and yeah, make that fourth and five. 6.15 to play in the football game. Whitco fourth down and five from the Rochester 49-yard line. Clock rolls here at Rochester High School. The Zebras looking to celebrate senior night in the same fashion they celebrated homecoming. Fourth and five for the uh, Wildcats at the Rochester 49. Elder under center, Hughes behind him. Killiam goes in motion to the right side, back to pass, three-step drop over the top of the head of Killiam. 
Uh, make that a smiley incomplete. Rochester will take over on downs and will lock to milk 545 off the clock here. Great job by the Rochester defense. Again, Elder with the quick pass. He had his receiver open. This time he just threw it too high and unable to connect. Starters will come back on the field. First down and 10 for the Z's at their own 49-yard line with 5.45 to play in the football game, leading 49 to 14. So the Zebras break the huddle, they'll come to the, uh, the football. Zebras score in every way you can think of. Yeah, tonight. that's right. Running, passing, kickoff return. Defense. Pick six. One receiver, two tight ends for Hunting. Who hands the ball off to Hattishell. Jacob Hattishell up the middle, at the 40. Cuts back at the 35, still on his feet at the 30. <laughs> down down to the near sideline of the 20. Turned around with the defense and stepped out of bounds at about the 11-yard line first and 10 for the Zebras. Serpentine, son, serpentine. John Gruden on the, the Hooters commercial. Nope. You don't see that? Nope. You didn't hear that? <laughs> and that's what it looked like. He cut in the left side, he cut back to the middle, then back out of the, the right side, then back to the middle, then back out of the right. It, it looked like Tanner Hughes out. I mean, those two were just left, well, right, left, right. That puts how to show over 200 yards for the night rushing. Wow. First and 10 for the Zebras at the 11 yard line. Five and a half minutes to play in the game. Rochester will bring two tight ends. Bennett left, Kistler right, straight T backfield for Hunting. Hunting to Beck up the middle. West Beck shakes a tackler and just about uh, got the, to the end zone as he crosses into the, uh, across the 10 yard line down around the eight. Somebody, I, somebody was hanging onto a shoe string. <laughs> So now West Beck with 41 yards on 14 carries. He's got a touchdown tonight. How to show I've got him unofficially 204 yards on 20 carries. Everybody's scoring two, out there. Two scores well. for How to show tonight. Three yard pickup for West Beck. It'll be second and uh, seven from the eight yard line. <laughs> Straight T backfield. How to show Heckathorn gets the carry. Jay. Down to the five. Lunges ahead. I believe the whistle was blown prematurely as he got to the five, but they're going to miss. Uh, they're going to whistle him at the six. So it'll be third down and six from uh, third and five from the six. Four and a half to play in the football game. Rochester up forty-nine to fourteen. Again, in the straight tee backfield for the Zebras. As Hunting comes up under center. Straight tee backfield, like Brad said. Hunting on third and five. Hands off to Hattashell. Jacob Hattashell looking for the end zone. Lowers his head. Does he get in? Touchdown, Zebras. A seven-yard run by Jacob Hattashell. Puts the Zebras up 55 to 14. Hattashell will get his third touchdown of the night for the Zebras as they extend their lead over the Whitco Wildcats. With four minutes exactly to play in the football game, Duffed on to attempt the extra point. Did I hear you asking somebody the last time Rochester scored 50 points or more in That's the right. football game? Did you ever get an answer? I did not. Snaps down. Kick is away. And Duff has his first extra point as a high school kicker. 56-14 Rochester. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Welcome back to Rochester High School. Rochester now at 56 to 14. It's, uh, four plays, 51 yards. Jacob Hattishell, seven-yard touchdown run for his third of the night. The PAT by the new kicker, Zane Duff, was good. Zebras lead 56-14. And the Duff kickoff is taken at the 24-yard line. And the, and the ball's ball loose. The ball's, ball's out, but I oh, believe his whistle dead Ooh, as Bumball carries it out to the 35-yard line. And that's where Whitco will start. Well, the, the question was when's the last time Rochester scored this many points? And the answer was? Well, last year in the sectional against Peru, they scored 51 points. And then I believe uh, Val said that uh, a few years back they scored... 74. 74 points. Uh, at Southwood. At Southwood, and that's a school record. Yeah, absolutely. And 74. Didn't I, didn't I hear that 
I, some some lumbering lineman had a... Yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened, <laughs> but I think the defensive end had a 44-yard touchdown. Because Hollers fell down twice chasing him. <laughs> Either way, sport, fifth, number 50 had a scoop and score. I believe that's why we that, put you on... What was his name on, again? That's why we put you on the air. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just looked... I, thank you. Yeah, it's because they didn't believe it either. <laughs> hey, I still have the tape. Do you? I'm sure you do. I you can't play it anymore because it's not a VCR tape. I will. It's on my iPad. I'll send it in. You know, when Moss asked, Moss asked me who else could we get up here, I said, what about that kid that scored oh, against that kid. the Southwood game? You we know? were scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> yeah. That kid has a name. <laughs> you know, there's only 11 of them that scored in that game. But <laughs> I will. Brad and Moss are now muted. Do you have Travis with you guys? <laughs> yeah. Actually, his elder brings his Wildcats to the line. And Hughes once again up the middle for the Wildcats. He's Whitco, only about two. Whitco has given up 38 points combined in the last five games. Wow. Hughes. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody else. 56 to 14. The Zebras lead with three and a half to play in the football game. <laughs> Second and seven for the uh, Wildcats. Uh. Uh, uh. Balls on the ground. Yep. And the backup quarterback. Uh, Weeks picks up the muff snap. He carries it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and seven. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Last report. North Judson, and a bit of a surprise to me, uh, whipping West Central right now, 41-19. to 19. Wow. Third and seven for the Wildcats. Week gets the play from the sideline. Down to 2.45 to play in the game. Zebras are going to run their mark to 7-1 and one overall and a perfect 6-0 and oh in the TRC. With one more coming next week in North Miami. Who is having a game against Tippecanoe New Valley tonight. Smiley goes in motion. The fullback right up the middle. The new fullback in the game for Whitco is Hewitt, Zach Hewitt, a sophomore. Picks up nine yards and a Wildcat first down. As the clock continues to roll here at Rochester, the new faces in the game defensively for the Zebras. Yeah, I see a number four, Thomas Rensberger. Um, did he? <laughs> Who else is out there? 52. Harper was out there. Now he's coming back off the field. Oh, good. That's good to see. Get a little Absolutely. action in for ne before next week. First and ten weeks back to pass. It is incomplete, broken up on that far sideline. Um, Daniel Butler. Daniel Butler breaks up that pass. It'll be there. second and 11. Garrett Shane is new on the defensive side at least. Number 25. Whoever to number 25 is, he's out there. Our roster's not full of numbers. 79, Randall Brax out there. 2.03 to play in the game, 56 to 14. 65, Austin Foster. Weeks, right up the middle. Hewitt again. To Hewitt, yep. And Hewitt carries it into Rochester territory to about the 47. Third down and four after a six yard gain. 95 seconds to play in this football game here at Barnhart Field for the final time in the regular season. Rochester up 56 to 14. Weeks on the option will kick it around the near side. Weeks tries to get the first down marker. He cannot as he does get it to the 45 and a gain of about one. It'll be fourth and three. Three more new faces is uh, number 99, Josh Adley. Number 31, Ross Pearson, and number 44, Trent Bauer, are all in the game. It's at least the most points Whitco's allowed in the game in the last 20 years. Whoa, wow. Wow. really? Val just said it's the most points that Whitco's allowed in the last 20? Wow. Fourth and four. 45 seconds to play in the game. Weeks under center. Smiley gets the pitch coming to the near side. Smiley has the first down as he's driven out of bounds on the Rochester sideline. Rensberger finishes him off as he gets to the Rochester 37. Liam Leininger is 25. 
Okay. First and ten for Whitco with 37 seconds to play in the football game. Again, Rochester up 56 to 14. Again, Rochester going to be six and uh, make that seven and one overall and six and zero oh in the TRC. And guaranteed at least a at share. At least a share. Yep. Weeks flips it to the far side. And Alma picks up enough for a Wildcat first down as he carries it to the Rochester 25-yard line with 30 seconds to play in the football game. First and 10 for the Wildcats. Clock rolls, 20 seconds to play in the game. Down to 15 from the 25. And a pickup of a couple of yards, and that'll do it. The final from Rochester High School, the, the Zebras defeat the Whitco Wildcats 56-14. Post-game thoughts after this on 92.1 WROI.